So today we're gonna learn on the basic data analysis using SSS. Before we begin, you need to make sure that you have already screened your data. So this video are meant for those who are looking into what types of analysis to be conducted when it comes to research findings. So if you're ready, let's go. Okay, this session is for the basic anal uh, data analysis okay, using SPSS. So we'll be conducting five basic analyses. The first one will be the frequency analysis. Uh, second one will be descriptive analysis, looking at mean and division, followed by the reliability analysis using chroma alpha. And then the fourth one will be correlation analysis. And last but not least will be the multiple regression analysis. Okay, so this is how your data looks like. Uh, basically okay so you have your records here on the uh, row and then you have your attributes or items or variables on the column okay so for the first analysis the frequency analysis okay so you go to analyze descriptive frequencies okay so for example if you have like these demographic items Okay, so in this case, I'll choose hope one to hope eight, and I'm going to move them to the variable box. Okay, and then you go to the statistic radio button, and you tick quartiles, and then you tick continue. And if you need to perform or to develop a chart, you can just go to charts, and then you choose the type of chart that you want. Maybe you want a bar chart, pie chart, or histogram. And then you just click continue and then you just click OK. All right. So as long as there is no notification error, so meaning that SPSS has already execute your command. So that is on the first analysis, frequency analysis. So the second one is on the descriptive mean and standard deviation for the variables. So you're still using the analyze tab. Okay, you go to a descriptive and again descriptive. And then for this one, you need to look at the uh, descriptive between the variables, okay, or among the variables. So therefore, we have already compute the variables. There are four variables: hope, seven steam, optimism, and locus of control. So you move all these variables okay to the variable box and then in the option you can actually choose a varieties of results you have the mean and standard deviation okay but you can also look at variance range kurtosis skewness okay and minimum and maximum but this time around we just want to look at the mean and standard deviation and then you just click continue and then you just click ok Okay, as long as there is no notification error, there's no pop-up window on error, so you are in good hands, meaning that you can proceed to the next analysis. So the third analysis will be reliability analysis, how to conduct reliability analysis. So you go to the analyze tab, okay, and then you scroll down to scale, and you will see a pop-up menu on reliability analysis. So you choose reliability analysis, Okay, so in this case, what we're going to look at is the reliability analysis of the Chromebook Alpha reading for hope. So you, in, you select all the items under hope and then move it into the item box. Okay, make sure the model is always alpha and basically the default is alpha, but you have other options as well. But for this test, we just look at the alpha. And then you go to statistics command radio button okay make sure you tick item and scale if item deleted okay these two okay uh, others are optional so these two is very important and then you just click continue okay be sure to actually scale or uh, name the label so this is hope so i'm going to type hope here Okay, if you don't actually insert the scale label, okay, so you will not be able to differentiate which variable does that chromebook alpha represent. 
and then you just click OK. okay so that is the third analysis. So the fourth analysis will be correlational analysis. Okay, so we want to see the correlation between the variables in the study. So you go to analyze, okay, correlate, bivariate. Okay, and then you choose all the variables. Okay, if you cannot find the variables on the left hand side of your box, just scroll down. Okay, your variable should be there and then you select and move them to the variable box okay and don't click any of the radio button here okay the default will be pearson this is the pearson product moment correlation and the test of significance will be a two tail test and of course okay spss has already instruct okay to flag significant correlation and then you just click okay so that is on the fourth analysis. So on the last analysis is the multiple regression analysis. So how to conduct the multiple regression analysis. So go, you go to analyze. Okay, so choose regression. Okay, once you all, you place your cursor on a regression, you can see the pop-up menu. So choose linear. So we're going to do a linear regression. Okay, so under this linear regression, you need to select your dependent and independent variables. Be sure to notice this. Okay, so in this case, locus of control will be the dependent variable. So place it into the dependent box. And then hope, service team and optimism is the three independent variables for this study. Okay, place into the independent box. And then on the statistic radio button, be sure to take case-wise diagnostic, okay? And then you can also look at collinearity diagnostic if you want to actually look at the variance inflation factor and tolerance factor that somehow relate to normality. And then you just click continue. For the plot, okay, you just choose that P rate and place, uh, place them in X axis. And then Z residual, you place in the Y axis, right? And then be sure to take histogram and normal probability plot. And then you just click continue. Okay. If you need to look at other readings, so you can just go to save command. Okay. You can actually have here unstandardized predicted values, adjusted predicted values. And you can also look at the different distances uh, with respect to normality. We have Mahala, Nobis, Cooks, and Leverage. And we also have the prediction to residuals and influence statistics. And then you just, okay, if you don't need it, then you just continue. And just click OK. So the basic multiple regression analysis is done. So those are the five analyses that uh, is necessary when it comes to basic data analysis. Okay. In order to inspect for uh, abnormal data or outliers, so you can use different methods. There are multivariate outliers and univariate outliers. So this time around, I'm going to demonstrate to you on how to screen your data using the univariate uh, outliers. Okay, basically looking at box plot. How to produce the box plot? Okay, you go to analyze, descriptive, explore. Okay, analyze, descriptive and explore. Okay, you can see here already pre-select hope and service team and you can also include other variables as well if you want to look at all. Okay, and then on the statistic command, please make sure you take outliers and then you click continue. And then on the plot, if you want to actually look at the histogram, you can do so. Okay, here I'm going to look at histogram and normality plots with tests and then continue. And then that should do it. Just click. Okay. So they're going to display both. Okay. So you should be able to have the output, you know, made available. Okay. So let us go to the output screen and you can see here. 
Okay, all the analysis that already been conducted just now. Okay. So you can see all the analysis. Okay, so we have the uh, frequency analysis and uh, descriptive analysis up to the uh, multiple regression analysis. Okay. Uh, so this is the first analysis that we uh, conducted uh, just now. Okay, on the Okay, this is the frequency analysis. So you can see here, okay, uh, there's a long list of all the uh, items that you have actually analyzed the frequency. But remember, you are not to report the valid percent and community percent. You only need to report and the frequency and percent only. Okay. And then we move on to the next one. Okay, this is the chart. And then uh, the second analysis, descriptive analysis. Okay, uh, the only thing that we are interested in looking at is at the mean and standard deviation for each of the variables in the study. Okay, and then the third analysis, the reliability analysis. So you have all this uh, table, but the one that you report only the Cromba Alpha reading. Okay, so in this case is 0 0.736, which is acceptable be, be above 0 0.7. Okay, and then the correlation analysis. Um, remember, this is a mirror image, so you need to choose either diagonal up or diagonal down. Meaning that, are you choosing uh, half of this, okay, or half of the bottom of the table? Okay, so this is the correlation, and it is already flat in terms of its significant. And the last but not least is the regression analysis. Okay, the last analysis for the basic data analysis. So you can see here the R square. You can see here the F stat. You can see here the standardized coefficient beta that will actually uh, represent the re nature of relationship uh, or to answer your relationship testing hypothesis. Okay, and then we also have here collinearity diagnostic in terms of data normality, looking at the tolerance and variance inflation factor. Okay, so that is on the uh, regression analysis and of course the last just uh, one just now that I shared with you is the univariate outliers how to identify outliers in our data so by looking at box plot this is called box plot and you can see there is only one extreme value for hope which is respondent number 142 so you ha have the option to either accept this as part of your respondent or you can also delete them from your uh, study and this is for seven steam so you can see it's more okay and then you even have these extreme numbers which are uh, labeled by the x uh, by the star okay so basically this is far out of the normal zone so you have to delete them and then the last one is on the locus of control so these are the box plot okay so this is univariate outliers uh, so basically, those are the uh, what we call uh, basic data analysis when it comes to uh, using SPSS, okay, especially for research purposes. So hopefully that helps, uh, and there are more to it actually, but I don't think we have the time now to actually discuss further. But anything. Just let me know, okay? Try to reach me and I'll try to assist you in any way I can. Okay, guys, that's all for basic analysis. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.